time, of course, to talk about this week's episode of Supergirl. Full spoilers, as always, for Season 1, Episode 4, entitled Livewire. Kara's foster mother visits for Thanksgiving, because they have that on Krypton. Uh, while I'm just kidding. While an accident transforms a volatile Catco employee into Livewire. That's right, Livewire. Our first real villain. Yeah. Not a... Uh, what's his fuck? Reactron. <laughs> Reactron. <laughs> that classic uh, Superman foe. Uh, yeah, so this is our first look at a, a proper Superman villain. Uh, Connor, what did you think about it? Yeah, I thought it was alright. It was... It looked good, at least, if nothing else. But, you know, like it was all the effects throughout were strongest that have been in the show so far, I think. Like, even the the helicopter scene towards the start looked better than I was expecting it to, I think. Hmm. I'd agree. The effects have been generally pretty good, but I think electricity is a nice, simple one to pull off, I think. Like, that's one of the first things you learn to do if you're learning effects software. Yeah. Um... But no, it looked, it looked fine here. Because, um, like, when it started happening... Well, first of all, I'm glad that... You know, Livewire's not a big character, but we know her. I mean, I know her mainly from Superman the Animated Series, I think's my first exposure to her. Um, Same. And I didn't know we were getting her, so as soon as it went to, like, the radio show and it said, you know, Livewire with, I'm like, oh, we're getting Livewire in this episode. That's cool. Um, I was a little bit worried it was going to feel like Electro from uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2. Luckily... I did not. <laughs> Luckily, this was uh, better written, performed, and overall just well realized than that. Yeah, poor well, it was just cooler because presentation like, of Electro. Because even uh, like in the office when she comes on, like the, like it almost justified Cat having like twenty TV screens of different sizes. Because when she came on those screens, it looked quite cool. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Sure. It was fun. Yeah, there were a lot of fun moments in this episode. Um, I don't. I don't know. I wasn't as into it this week. I was into the live wire stuff, I guess. Uh, but even that didn't quite capture me like I wanted it to. It just felt like, uh, God, the family nonsense with <laughs> Kara and her sister and the foster mother. Just yeah. none I've... of it worked for me at all. It just felt like just, just, just non-dramatic bullshit for the sake of having the illusion of drama, you know? Yeah, I mean, I... That was yeah. definitely the weakest part of the episode, and I... I've been saying since episode one that I don't like the sister that much. I think she's really dull and just kind of... She's like she's like a plot device as a character. And the more that she keeps speaking about how she feels about her, her job and how her mom might think about her job, the more that you realize like, she just doesn't seem like she's... I don't know. I feel like if you're going to work in, like, a secret government agency, you need to be, like, an emotional fortress. And she just is constantly going, but I, oh, my mom's going to, ah. You're like, but she took in an alien. Like, maybe if you guys just had sat down when you were all going off into adulthood and just went, all right, realistically, we're not a normal fucking family. Maybe we should just realize where our strengths are and be open and communicative. And But no, it's just... Yeah, I don't know. It, it it really irked me for some reason. Yeah, the, the thanks. I mean, I liked that it was set at Thanksgiving. I always it's like kind of an old TV staple, but I like themed like holiday themed episodes. I like Halloween episodes, Christmas episodes. You know, even Thanksgiving, which is a you know non holiday for anyone outside the US. But it's uh it's nice to theme episodes around that. I just yeah, the, the family stuff wasn't that great. Um, but luckily, I mean. It's not, I mean, the mom's not going to be here every week. They can't have Helen Slater popping up all the time. Uh, I, d I did like, though, in the flashbacks, Dean Cain saying that he knew lots of stuff about Superman. Yeah, it was yeah. oddly amusing. It was like... <laughs> I know is, all about Superman. This is really weird and meta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, who knows? Maybe he just went on... Maybe it has nothing to do with meta. He just happened to go on, like, a nice uh, fishing trip with, with Kal-El one week. Who knows? Some is, crazy is, is he happened. dead in the present, I assume? They seem to think he's dead. You had, I mean, yeah, yeah. That's what everything was like alluding to. Yeah, they didn't yeah. really kind of mention it. I think but he wasn't there for, for Thanksgiving. Yeah, I think he is probably alive, but they think he's dead. That that's makes my, sense. That's my guess. At this Maybe point. he's Cyborg Superman. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> no, let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> let's not do that. I'm. Well, I don't okay, I, I, I want to be positive because I feel like I've just been the voice of negativity so far. Um, 
the the actress that plays Livewire uh, was awesome. She did a really good job. Um, I thought she did, yeah. Uh, she was just fun to watch, and it's always nice to see somebody use their powers gleefully. That's uh, often why we praise the Flash. And so, you know, I, I just wanted to say I didn't hate this episode or anything, but it definitely um, it wasn't that steady incline of quality that uh, that we've been seeing in the past few weeks. You know, oh. th- this definitely had its dips for me. Yeah, I, I uh, I'm what I'm enjoying though is I think uh, the cat. Oh, first of all, the cat puns from a. Uh... What was it she says to her? like, oh, you've got the uh, humour uh, of a YouTube comment. That, that cracked me up. Um, when she makes a cat pun. Um, what I'm liking, though, is her relationship with uh, Kara. And I'm actually, I'm a little bit uh, sceptical here, or uh, suspicious, that she actually already knows that Kara's Supergirl. Because there was a couple of very convenient things in this. Now, this could just be, you know, dummy TV writing. But she was like, oh, you go get security 20 floors down. To me, that sounded like like I know you need to go turn it to Supergirl. Go and do that, and we'll yeah. pretend that I don't know. Like that's, that's kind of what it may have sounded like to me. I'm liking the fact that Cat is probably now the outside of Kara herself, the most fully realized character, and it feels like the most well rounded now to me. Um, I guess just because nearly everybody else is just kind of defaulted to whatever facet of Supergirl Team X that they, they kind of fulfill. And she's more of one that's helping Supergirl, but also has her own very uh, distinguished opinion and doesn't want anybody else to infringe on her territory. Like, yeah, there's a lot of more realized stuff there. Definitely. I, so, yeah, I, I agree with you. Yeah, I liked how she was like, uh, oh, we'll do some stories about uh, soup kitchens and helping the homeless after Thanksgiving. And you think, oh, maybe the Grinch is, uh, you know, the Scrooge or whatever you want to call her, has realised the, the, you know, the, the family because she's been saved and all that. And then she's like, all right, because liberals eat this shit up after uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> like, I did enjoy that. I was like, oh, that was good. That was a nice swerve because you were doing the cliche thing, but you, you swerved me on it. So yeah. that was nice. Yeah, the show is definitely feeling a little bit more lived in. I just, I just wish that the family stuff didn't. Just, it, I don't know. It, it just seemed real. I don't want to say lazy because that just sounds like they didn't try anything at all. But like, it just really didn't connect. Nah, I wonder. I, I do wonder though, because obviously this was not the episode originally supposed to be this week. There was another one before it. Yeah, we should probably mention that. Yeah, that's episode five, not episode four. Oh really? Yeah, they. Uh, did you not hear about this, Alex? Okay, this is episode no, five, uh, Livewire. Episode four and five were swapped. Now, when I heard that, I got annoyed because I was like, "Oh, I'm getting flashbacks of Firefly, and you know, just airing things out of order for no reason." There is a reason for this. Episode four had some uh, terrorist themes in it, and they decided to push it because mm-hmm. of the Paris uh, incidents at the weekend. Which is why things like uh, the, at the end of the last episode, she was only just discovering about Lucy, and she yeah. was just hearing it like she used a superhero afterwards. But yeah. then they're kind of just talking. Yeah, and this one this. they've clearly met already, and that's because they've swapped episodes four and five. So next week, I'm sure we'll get the proper introduction. Okay. Yeah. No, I was uh, I was unaware of that news, and that explains why whenever it popped up in my um, my iTunes season pass, it, it did show up as five. I I just thought it was some mistake, but <laughs> that makes sense. So, uh, apologies, I guess, um, I guess for the title of this, you should, we should label it as five? Yeah, I'll label it as five. Every, everywhere still calling it episode five, so. I think when yeah. it's on DVD, Blu-ray and stuff, it'll be, you know, in the right order. It's just, for the sake of hearing it, they've swapped them. Well, then I apologize for confusing people at the beginning of this one. So. <laughs> this was the fourth week of Supergirl. Fourth week, episode five. Nice and simple. All right. So, I guess that, uh, any, anything else you guys want to throw in? Um, I hope Livewire comes back. And I think she will, because they're, they're keeping yeah. them prisoner, so I think she'll pop up again. And I guess they're on to Hank Henshaw, so we've got a season plotline. Uh, That's true. But that, and I want to see more of, like, child Kara using her powers and flying about, because it's nice just to see them just being gleeful and just excited to just be able to go and fly over the water and stuff like that. I really enjoyed that. That's yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, well... Yeah, definitely check back with us next week for episode four's review. Um, and then that has been this week's episode, episode five of Supergirl. Livewire. Livewire. <laughs> review. Yeah.